As far as adoption is concerned, I would say there are two types of adoption. One type of adoption which is haram, one type of adoption which is halal. Or you can give different words. I would say that the legal adoption in which you give your name to the adopted child, that is haram, that is prohibited. Based on the verse of the Quran of Surah Azab, chapter number 4 and chapter number 5. Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 4 says that your adopted sons are not your real sons. The next verse, verse number 5 says, call them with the name of the real father that is better for them. If you do not know the name of their father, then call them as your brother in faith. So based on this verse of the Quran, it is very clear cut that you cannot call your adopted son as your real son. That means when you adopt a person, a child, whether a male or a female, you cannot give your name and say he is your son. That is haram. And there are various hadith. If you read the hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number 5, hadith number 3508, where the beloved Prophet ﷺ said, that anyone who says that he is the son of anyone besides his father, he is doing disbelief in Allah. And anyone who says someone else to be father than a real father, he is doing kufr. A similar hadith is repeated in Sai Muslim, one number one, hadith number 217, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that anyone who calls anyone besides his own father. As his father, he is disbelieving in Allah. He is doing kufr. So based on this hadith and the Quranic verse, it is prohibited for a person to legally adopt. That means you get someone who is not your child and give him your name and say he is my son. That is haram. And there are various reasons. Hadith says, Quran says it there. There are many other complications. Number one complication that will come is that if you call him your real son, then the law of inheritance would apply. And imagine you have no children and you adopt a child. And if you die, your wife will get half. Because the Quran, Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 11 and 12 says, if there are no children, your wife gets one fourth. If there are children, she gets one eighth. So if you legally adopt someone and give him your name and call him your legal son, then your wife, instead of inheriting one fourth, she inherits one eighth. If the father dies and if the wife is alive and the adopted son or adopted daughter is there, then if the, if the wife dies and the father is alive, the husband is alive. So if the wife dies, the husband, if there are no children, gets half of the property of the wife. If there are children, he gets one fourth, so even he'll get half. If the mother is there, if there are no children, mother gets one third. If there are children, she'll get one sixth. So by adopting the child, you're making half the inheritance of the husband or the wife. And your mother's inheritance also becomes half. So legally, it will create problems. The second, there are many problems. I'll discuss the two major problems. The second major problem is of hijab. When you adopt legally, the hijab has to be maintained. You adopt, but if, the, if you adopt the girl, the girl grows up. The father, even though he may say that she is the daughter, he has to do hijab once she becomes an adult. If he has adopted a boy, when he grows up, he has to do hijab with the so-called adopted mother. You cannot say that she is my mother. Hijab has to be maintained. If suppose after adopting that child, if there is one more child born in the family, and if, if the person is the adopted son, if you have a girl that is born, born, they are not brothers and sisters. There has to be hijab between them. There are many other problems also. But when the Quran is clear cut and the Hadith is clear cut that you don't call your adopted sons as your own sons and call them by the, by the real father. So legal adoption is haram. So what type of adoption is permitted? Rather, I would say the halal adoption or rather calling it sponsoring an orphan is a better safe word. Is not only permitted, it is mustahab. There are many verses of the Quran, there are many hadith in which Allah says 
that help the orphan, take care of the orphan. So if you get an orphan to your house, give him your fatherly love, give your motherly love, but don't give your name. That is not only permitted, it is mustahab. Or you sponsor an orphan in the orphanage, take care of the, all the expenses, no problem. Even if you get home, no problem, but don't give your name. So if you get a child home and see to it that he continues with the father's name, if you know. If you don't know, then call him brother in faith, but don't give your name. That is permitted, not only permitted, it is encouraged. But you have to be careful of certain things. In this case, since you have not given the legal name, he will not inherit anything from inheritance unless you bequeath. Because Islam gives permission that a person can bequeath maximum one third of his wealth. So he will not inherit by default. But if you write in your wasiyat, in your inheritance deed, that I want to give him 5%, 10%, no problem. Maximum you can give is one third. If you don't write, he will not inherit anything. As far as the hijab is concerned, yes, the hijab will be maintained the moment he grows up. You'll have to maintain, if it's a girl you have adopted, you, the father has to do hijab with the girl. If it's a boy that's adopted, the mother has to do hijab with him. Unless, if you adopted a young boy or a young girl, when they are just few months old or maybe a year old. And if that adopted child suckles the mother, adopted mother, or suckles the wife, then for many times, not once or twice, for many times. Then, that boy who suckles the mother becomes the mahram. In this case, hijab need not be done because that boy, when he grows up, he, it is prohibited for him to marry the milk mother. And if it's a girl, milk mother is prohibited, even the husband of the milk mother is prohibited. So here, the hijab is not required to be done. If there are any children born after you suckle the adopted child, yet hijab need not be done because your child would be the milk brother or sister of that adopted child. You have not given the name, but since the suckling is done, the hijab may not be maintained. So the hijab can be relaxed if the breast milk is given by the mother who has adopted. If not, then hijab has to be maintained. So there are various issues that are there. Adopting a child is, mashallah, a great blessing, but it is also dangerous. Now, when you adopt a child, whatever wealth that orphan has, you have to take care of it, keep it safe, do not spend it. Preferably, if Allah has given you the wealth, you spend your wealth in taking care of the orphan. But if you have no wealth and you're absolutely poor, and you want to take care of that orphan. And if some wealth is there, you can utilize the wealth of the orphan as long as it is spent only on him or her. And see to it, you are accountable. Don't squander wealth at all. Because Allah is very clear cut. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 10, do not eat the wealth of the orphan. If you do that, you are eating fire in your belly and you will be put into the hellfire. So, Adopting a child, as long as you don't give the legal name and taking care is a great mustahab. It is a great sunnah, but also it is dangerous. You see to it that you take care of that orphan. See to it when the orphan grows up. If it's a girl, get, get her married to the right person. If it's a boy, also get married. All this, it's a responsibility. In fact, Taking care of an orphan, you have to take more precautions, more than your own child. Because the own child, you can relax, you are the mother, you are the father, but for the orphan, it becomes your duty that you treat them well. If you ill-treat them, there's a great sin. As far as the children are concerned, it's a different issue altogether. So if you're adopting a child and not giving your name to that child, it is not only permitted, it is mustab, but be careful, you take care of that child, give your love, Treat them very well. Treat them better than your own children. Then it will be a great blessing for you. So there are two types of adoption. Legal adoption, giving your name, it's haram. But adopting without giving your name or rather calling it a sponsorship, whether you get them to the house, it is not only permitted, it is mustah, but take care that you give them love, 
affection, take care of them, take care of the property when they grow up, give it to them. If you do all these things, you will be doing one of the great mustahab act and Allah will reward you to a great deal.